in the country. Brought to you by Kubota Hay Tools. Forage forward. If you're looking to adjust heating costs, preserve wildlife, or create shelter for livestock, a windbreak might be a good investment. But starting to create a 40-foot break isn't an easy task. Ag Day's Betsy Chibben talks with certified nursing professionals on how to get started on your farm. Creating a windbreak like this one takes time, money, and a little TLC. But Peck's Green Thumb Nursery and Garden Shop professionals share some tips how to get started. You can plant into, into the grass, you can plant into uh, tilled soil, it really doesn't matter. To decide what trees you want to plant, you have to know your area and soil type. Some varieties of plants are going to do better in a lighter soil, or some will do a lot better in a heavier soil. Here are some varieties that are ideal in eastern Iowa. One row can help against wind and snow, but three is ideal. Choose my largest growing plant to be the middle plant in the, the second row. Um, your outside row, you can use that as a shrub, a taller growing shrub, say a, a service berry or a hazelnut or something like that, which is going to give you some wildlife um, benefit also. And for the very inside row, Look at the hazelnuts again, the service berry, lilac, common lilac. You know, it's going to give you a nice flower. Once you decide the variety you want, the spacing for each row differs. Your rows are probably between 15 and 20 feet apart. Your outside row with your shrubs, your plants are going to be anywhere from 5 to 7 feet apart. Your next row, which is closest to the house, is going to be your last row. You're going to tighten that up a little bit more. Once planted, upkeep is important because weeds can grow faster than trees, but the right amount of water is crucial. Depending on your soil type, you're looking at maybe once a week, uh, once every two weeks. It just, it just depends on your soil. He's got a nice, uh, nice layer of mulch, no weed barrier. The mulch is your weed barrier. That's also going to help hold the, the moisture in. The Black Hills Spruce and Crimson Spire Oak. You know, this variety of tree, it grows narrow. So it's not going to grow into the fence line as much. It's going to be easier for him to maintain it. A solid wall to protect livestock. He's got him spaced about uh, 15, 15 to 20 feet apart, somewhere around there. Should have brought a tape measure with me. Now that's about the right spacing that you want to do with your spruce. Options to create the ideal windbreak for your homestead. In Cedar Rapids, Iowa, I'm Betsy Jibben reporting for Ag Day.